Fish individuals have potentially placed themselves and others at risk of contracting COVID-19 um, through their illegal protest. Well, so protesting is not unlawful. Uh, it's a human right. I know, I know that you're not. Okay, but we have a situation where there's a coronavirus out there and the survival rate is slightly below 100%. And I'm not willing to accept that the government's willing to shut down businesses, mate, destroy people's hey, lives, mate. and to enforce abusive policy that is carried out by you guys. We agree to disagree all day, alright? We're not here to ruin your day, sir. We're just here to ask you to move on. I don't need you. I've got every right to be here. I was born in Melbourne. This is my city. You've got no right to enforce to me. I'm not committing any of them. I'm not committing any Yeah, yeah, you should probably tell me why before you grab me. You're under arrest. doing this? You're under arrest. Dog! Dog! Tyranny and forcing! Hey! You feel. You feel proud of yourselves? Huh? What's the f***ing survival rate of COVID? Answer me that! Where's COVID caused excess mortality? They're destroying people's f***ing lives for this! Everybody, thanks for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. mandatory vaccination directions. I understand Commonwealth employees and court staff are exempt from them. Um, does that apply to MPs too? I mean, are those... Of state MPs in the parliament. Yeah, I believe so. so again, that, that again, legal legal impediments or legal recommendations that uh, MPs can't be uh, within those mandates. That's not to say that there aren't other mechanisms uh, for MPs to be managed. But um, the treasurer can so, speak so to that. So just to clarify, that that is no longer MPs are no longer part of the public health order. No, MPs have not been part of the the mandate for legal advice uh, around that. But as I understand it, not required um, for MPs in Victoria as well. chasing me from the back. I'm here. I don't want the job. I'm all for medical freedom and I'm scared for my kids. So just trying to confirm her identity, but she wants her phone back. She wants her phone back to record her interaction. The policeman just said, well, we're recording you anyway. Seriously, I'm, I'm making a serious point. I don't know what half of them were protesting against. You. Well, a lot of them. Then, well, good on them. Except, it's illegal. Seriously, I'm, I'm making a serious point. I don't know what half of them were protesting against. You. Well, a lot of them. Then, well, good on.
Guys, I'm telling them to disperse, guys. I'm telling Guys, the worldwide ride for Freedom 3 is officially over. It is time to go home. job. They haven't done that to Channel 9, Channel 7, Channel 10, SBS, ABC, who are all here with security. Our security guard, they violently tackled. Can I talk to you who's in charge? Look at him. They've got Daniel on the ground, who is here as our licensed security guard, who came here, licensed, working. So I call from the police. Where they take him, the lawyer Harvey's wants to know. Harvey's starting to become a bit more problematic, so we might need to look at what Harvey's role is here in the moment. If you're starting to cause breaches of the peace, you'll be in trouble. So um, I'm, I'm here because my you've taken so my security we'll, guard. We'll go over there with him and have a chat. Uh, can you I go in what, there? Can what? you take me there? You can stay on the outside, but you can't, I don't see any need for you to be here if you want to protect him. So no. See you later. What, what are you talking about? You've you taken my security go? guard. Go over there then. Am I allowed to go there? And you can stay around the outside of the area. I don't understand what you're saying. What you, my lawyer's here. You want to talk to her? Here. Oh, you What's right. your name? Jamie Templeton. Inspector yeah. Jamie Templeton is. I don't know. Where do I go? Can I go to my security guard that you've arrested unlawfully? Can, if he starts breaching, then he's going to be charged. Yeah, breaches at the moment. Yeah. In addition, we might have to raise security. I'm, I'm breaching the CHO directives now. I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm, where, I'm, I'm on camera with. Okay, do you want to have this argument again? You don't know the law. Right, move on, thanks. Please move back behind the court and you're right just We're there? behind here. That's, That's right. right. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. He does. He told me to go right here. He oh. As a 14 year old girl, I shouldn't have to be standing here fighting for my freedoms. I'm scared for my future and I'm scared for my parents that they're going to lose their jobs and will be homeless because they don't want to, they don't want to give in. I'm just scared, you know, like I can't sit here fighting as a 14 year old girl. I'm scared for when I have kids. What if this is still going on? I have to fight for my kids too. It's going to go on for so long and I'm just going to, you know. How has, how has schooling been in the last two years for you? I, I, my attendance has gone down and so have my grades. It's really stressful and all my friends 
friends agree as well and they're too scared to speak up and more teenagers will just be speaking out about it, about this power grab because it's going to affect everyone's future. Well I can tell you something, maybe your grades have gone down but you have much more intellect than the people in that building by the way you talk and the passion you have, yeah. I think you're going to be alright. No one's being coerced, no one's being unreasonably pushed here. You want to listen? You got your phone going? Yeah, I do, yeah. Right. Now, you're under arrest in relation to incitement. Incitement? Yeah. What's that? Now, you're not obliged to say or do anything, but anything you say or do may be given in evidence. Excuse me, incitement for what? What the, What on earth? Yeah. Excuse me, what What on earth? Yeah, just put your phone down. Can you, it's like, record this? To... I'm in my pyjamas. What's I this? I've an ultrasound in an hour. Yeah, pregnant. yeah, she's pregnant, so... Well, I'll take it easy. What's this about? I have an ultrasound just let me in an hour. Let me finish and I'll explain. It's in relation to a Facebook post, in relation to a lockdown protest you put on for Saturday. Yeah, and I wasn't breaking any laws by doing that. You are that. actually. You are breaking all. That's why I'm arresting you in relation to this. How can you children, arrest her? That's... In front of my two children. Can't you just say to her, take the post down? Like, come I'm on. I'm happy to delete the post. This, this is ridiculous. Right. Yeah. But I have to give you these cautions. Any computers and all That's fine, Just let me finish. Let me finish. Any mobile telephone you've got, okay? So, what we you want Any mobile telephone you've got? You don't need that. It's like yeah, it's just, it's it's just, it's just, it's just, doesn't matter. Any device in this house we're taking. This is well, ridiculous. you're not taking my phone. Well, I'm taking any device. Any device. That's my phone. It's, it's nothing it's to do with her. It's my phone. You are in proximity to other people to please wear a mask. One, and two. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I, I got. Right, going, right? I'm, I'm going. You're walking away. Refused or failed to comply with the CHO, whoever that is. Um, so basically, this is what I reckon. Whoop. Oh yeah. no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. See that? That's about how far this will go. It's gone. I work for Rebel News. I am lawfully here. Unfortunately, they have turned extremely violent. Unfortunately, people are starting to throw stuff and go crazy at these police. They nearly just fucking they just run people over. They've just fucking hit people. They have literally just hit people. They've run over people. It's unbelievable what has just broken out. The riot police have jumped out of their car. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna shoot that. You're gonna shoot that. What is that? 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 
fucking cast! We're going to move to a situation where, to protect the health system, we're going to lock out people who are not vaccinated and can be. If you're making the choice not to get vaccinated, then you're making the wrong choice. You're making the wrong choice. of your hometown. Oh, here comes the truck, actually. Look, we've even... I mean, it looks like a... It looks a bit like a war zone, doesn't it? Here comes the, the big truck at the moment, the uh, large police vehicle, as you can see. Uh, it... it it, it's it's pretty crazy. I mean, we've had earthquakes here. We've got this protest. We've got the city in a standstill. Uh, you know. And there's even I've more got police coming around saying, the corner there, be at the end of the street as well. Yep, 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 yep. At the end of the street, we've got more. I mean, you know, friends are texting me saying, "What is going on? Victoria is 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 falling apart." I mean, I don't want to be that dramatic, but it just feels like it is a, a scene out of a movie at the moment. We can see a whole huge line. Of of police just to our left here. They're starting to move down as well now. There's another lot of uh, officers that are coming down. These are the riot squad that's coming down as well with their shields and batons. Wow. So uh, yeah, but, they're yeah, obviously the, the police commissioner uh, they're, they're had now said creating. In that, the police commissioner had said in that media conference there were kind of 500 police odd police involved yesterday, and yeah, look, he's indicated that there was going to be an even stronger force today and it appears that that is definitely the case, huh? Going on here, yeah? They surrounded my car and then this young prick here, whoever he is, pulls up and he, he says, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna arrest you. I said, what for? He said, oh, because you're sitting here. I was like, that's not a crime, mate. And then all of them started surrounding the car and they just started trying to pull me out. Six cops trying to pull me out and couldn't do shit. This is all they are, they're just goons. We sat here and we just watched. They came in, they forced my door open, and they told me that, that I'm being arrested because I'm just in the, in the area, breaching ch uh, Cho laws. We were just sitting here, we, just, we were just eating. We did absolutely nothing wrong. They ripped the door open and they tried to force me out. Do not touch my car. You lost. Jump out of the car. At this stage, Don't you are touch. under arrest. Why? I've explained it to Hold you. I'm not going to explain it to you a fifth time. Get out of the no, car. You're under arrest. arrest. What for? What crime have Failing I committed? Failing to provide details. Don't be scared, Major. Well, you committed an offence. Uh, don't be scared, just Major. Just jump out of the car Major, and talk to us. Major, don't be scared. Okay. Look, watch yeah. this, Major. You don't need yeah. to be scared, Kate. Okay? Yeah. The tears literally streaming down his face. And after all that... Police never had to do it. They just let him go anyways, leaving the dad to comfort his distressed little boy. There you go. So, police tries to force him out of the vehicle in front of his child, take his child away. Visibly, the child is, uh, you know, crying, distressed, um, but he refused to comply and he stood up for himself. At this stage, um, they've let him go. We'll, we'll, um... Oh! <laughs> Putting the flag on the ground. <laughs> on the ground.
of Melbourne this afternoon. We'll bring you those developments as they come into the newsroom. So you got shot in the back of the head. In the back of the head. I got shot in the back of the head. The cop is chasing after us. What are we supposed to do? We had our hands up, mate. Hands up, hands meaning you've got up. no weapons. And what are you no here weapons. for? To fight for my job. I'm not getting that vax. There's no ultimatum. This is bullshit. Yeah. I've fucking had it. So is Melbourne. Better than hitting my balls, though. So here's another young guy. And oh, so they were shooting at you. I did not throw anything. I, I didn't do anything. No, I fucking shot us, man. We are giving you an opportunity, five or ten minutes, to leave the area. We're going home. We're going home now. Flatwind Street. Intersection. Tell you guys to go. We just want to go home. Police spot. They were just chasing after us. There was no reason for it. They ran across the road. Pushed my mate, grabbed him in it like a, a type of like a Muay Thai clench, bit of a head headlock, and then the police started throwing punches at him. It was disgusting. And then we obviously saw that and we went to defend our mate. And then I got put in prison for 29 days. Oh, police are pushing okay. protesters. It's terrible. This is violence. Police violence. Stop pushing women. And we can all do that in the community, can't we? We can, we can express the yes. community desire. If you've got a hesitant friend or kids cricket coach or whatever, you go, well, you just can't mix with us unless you're vaccinated. Wow. Fuck, they throw shit at the coppers. Look at that. Look at that. They throw shit at the coppers. Get him! Whoa! On the 5th of October 2020, heavily armed police wearing gas masks and prepared with a battering ram pounced on a young family's home in South Australia. It was probably one of the most confronting nights of my life. The crime that justified such a heavy-handed police response, you ask? Well, Dad didn't get a COVID test fast enough for local health officials. So I had rang for... So we're going to need rules. We're going to need vigilance. We're going to need an accept...
So how did you get your vaccine? Yeah. Which one? Which one? Um, COVID nineteen. Yeah, yeah. What Moderna or Pfizer or AstraZeneca? Pfizer. Pfizer. How much they pay you? Five hundred dollars. Each one. Each one. That's good, eh? Yeah. That government's going good. Yep. I know. All right. Thank you. Hey, I told his friend you are. I'll tell my friend he la he got to laugh. <laughs> You were given a direction before you need yes, to move on, so you need I'm to go waiting. now, okay? Yeah. Thank you. I found my husband. Yep, so we need to move on. Thank you. Yep. Have a chat over here. Okay, can I ask something, officer? If no, she lives no, in the no, area, she's no, not. why is she not allowed to be here? I'm not answering questions. She understands what's happening. What, why have you been told you have to move on? Can I understand that? Because um, that's a bit more... She has to move on now. She's already been given an infringement, okay? I, I've got the infringement. We're taking care of that for her, but we want to understand why no, she's been... Can, can I understand? Because a lawyer would like to know. We're, we're taking this fight on for her and would like to know why she's been given. She lives in the area, so she's legally allowed here. We're not going to discuss that with you. She's been given her direction. She knows what, what direction has she been given? What direction? She doesn't know. She doesn't understand. So you're abusing your power. You're kicking a woman out from her own neighbourhood park because you think you have some sort of authority that you don't hold. We're going to fight a fine. We will win a fine. But who are you? What's your badge number? 39895. You can't do that to locals. She's a local. You just can't do that. You don't have the authority. That's myself included. I work out. Did you just morning for check if there's actually anything in that? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. coffee in there. Enjoy your coffee. Thank you. Jesus loves you all. God bless. I'll be praying for you all. Watch those girls. I literally am standing here eating my kebab. No, not all right. How are you meant to calm down when people are doing this? Uh, we, saw, we saw your friend up here earlier on. We've given permission to move on and he's, he's returning. So. He lives 500 metres that way. Yeah, we told when you guys check that, it's going to be really awkward. I'm not going to argue with you. So, what, okay, can I ask what he's been arrested for? Watch me. So, Watch me so what? Let me come over here and I'll no, I'm fine here. here. Thank you. You can explain it here. What's happened earlier on is we've, we've seen your friend up here. You've explained that. It's not necessary. And we're giving you a direction to move on. I understand and not that. Return. He's not returning his own. He lives. He lives a block away. Yeah, but he has no. So what do you mean? To, he has no reason to be here. He doesn't have a valid reason to be out today. He wasn't wearing a face mask. Hold on. He has a face mask in his pocket. He was just smoking a cigarette. He just came to get lunch with me. Oh, what do you mean? I've been living here this whole time. What do you mean? I live with him. For, I live 200 metres up the road. We're all going for a walk. I've gone to meet my friends, which I told your friends I before. I literally have food in my hand. She's going to get a kebab and we're going for a walk. And the reason I didn't have a mask on because I was having a cigarette. I've got two masks in my pocket. Like, what else do you want me to do? Oh, pretty much. Then. Do you want to Out of work for a week, they've uh, been crawling back on their hands and knees for a job. They haven't made any sacrifices at all. And they're not really unionists. They're just... Uh... But my other message is, even one dose of vaccine is is worthwhile in improving your likelihood of hospitalisation. Rule with... Put it on, please. Uh, Cover your nose and your mouth. OK. You are not We're accredited gonna... media. Sorry? You are not accredited media. So you're saying if I have an accredited media pass by Victoria Police, I don't have to cover my nose and mouth while talking on the what microphone? What I'm saying is you are not accredited media. <laughs> you know what? Come, arrest me. Nick Minnett. We've got advice from the legal department that um, Rebel TV is an international company and it is mainstream media. And do I need to wear a mask? Not while you're talking on camera. Can I just get that apology on camera? Well, all I'm saying is... Can, can, I, can, can, can I get that apology? Can, can you say you sorry? Say one I'm word. Say that. sorry. I've given you this. Say sorry. Say sorry. Say it's one word. Mark, say you sorry. Can, you can say sorry. Without wearing a mask. There you go. They'll never admit. That's why we're in the Supreme Court. Stand with Avi.com. That's why we're suing him.
or something and stay like yeah. anti-terrorist pets. Yeah. Hey, motherfucker's main business. You gotta get out of here. Like a fucking cut multiplayer. You fucking pigs! You pieces of shit. Oh, Meet Michael, he's a trader who came here because he doesn't want jabs to be mandatory. And this is what happened, he says he got shot in the back by one of these rounds by police. There are others, he said, below the, the belt line, but that is very swollen. And what does it feel like to be shot? By, by my own country, by my police. It's, it's disgusting. It's ab I'm absolutely disgusted. I got... I'm struggling to find words for it. You see how quick that makes something peaceful, aggressive? You see how quick that makes something peaceful, aggressive? See how quick that makes something peaceful, aggressive? These guys are supposed to be here to protect us. They're supposed to protect us. Look how quick that makes something peaceful, aggressive. Look at them, look at them. Say we learn from every demonstration, every protest, every criminal activity we're involved in, we debrief and we become more agile, more flexible, and we become better every time. <laughs> that you should remember that the consequences of the vaccines are worse than any of the potential side effects. He's choking me! What the fuck? Let go Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off him! Stop! Fuck you, bitch! Get the fuck off me! What, what are you doing? He's fucking choking me, dude! What the fuck? <sighs> You're fucked in the head! You're fucked! Oh, I can feel the pride running through my fucking bones! Big ass egos. She has a note. You just attacked her. She has a freaking note. Hey buddy, I can't talk to her while she's down there. You guys are so fucked. You guys are so fucked.
You cannot come in. Anyone who's planning to come in, it is an illegal gathering and we'll be doing everything we can to prevent that gathering. And if people do get to make it into the CBD for that gathering, we will be enforcing that. Anyone who makes it in there will be subject to a $5,500 fine. Those who are trying to get in there along the way, if we encounter them and prevent them getting in there, they'll be getting that $1,800 fine as well for being outside um, their premises by five. I know I'm supposed to say that I respect people's choices and reasons for not getting vaccinated. I don't. I don't understand it. I don't respect it. Stop. This stops when we want it to stop. The moment enough Australians say that's it, it's over. I have asthma. I'm an asthma sufferer. I don't wear a mask ever. Right. So, I'm sorry. Well, you can't travel on a train. I can travel on a train. I have an exemption. I have an exemption. Do you need to film? Pardon? Do you need to film? He's filming. No. I'm not a threat to you. To I'm a single person on the train without a mask on because I have an exemption. That's all right. We'll That's take fine. your details. You don't have to take my details. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not obliged to give you my details. I know my rights. I know I'm my sure rights. I'm sure you do. Yes. So you can ask away, you are not getting my details and I do not need to give you my mask exemption. I don't even need to speak to you. Come with me. Excuse me, that's my that's my personal bag. Yeah, come with me. Excuse me, you can't do this. Come with me. I don't need to, excuse me. That is my bag. So now I have you, your now, now you so have now my bag. You have my bag. No, I can't. I'm not giving you any. No. That is my bag. Give me my me. fucking bag. Me. Give me my bag. Give me. You are antagonising me now. Give me my bag. You are antagonising me. I am anxiety and asthma now. Give me my bag. So, Give me my bag. So you are antagonising people. Anxiety, well, give me my give bag. Me I don't need to. I do. You know this. Why are you doing this, please? You don't need to do this. Everybody else in this train That's is right. doing the right thing. Because they have any do they need an exemption? I need have an exemption. I don't have to show you it is a personal thing between my doctor and me. I have an exam I'm not trying to start an argument. Give I'm the trying give I, don't the need, your name. I don't need to give you my name. You know this. I know you can see it in my eyes. You, you, you know be on the train I'm gonna take your bag you outside the railway station. Do you feel like a really big man? Do you feel like a big man? You've just taken a, a young girl's bag off her because she won't present a mask exemption to you or details. You are doing the wrong thing. Crimes against humanity is so big right now. My chick, you don't know what you're getting yourself into, do you? You really don't. You've got no idea what is happening in the world. Sure you're, you're just enforcing. I'm enforcing sure this. I'm not going to tell you. You have to do your own, you have to wake yourselves up. 
No one else is going to do it for you. These last two years, if you were beholden to extremists, if you somehow owed extremists a debt of gratitude, that is ugly. That is scary. A sea of people, when you look at the aerial pictures, they started down Burke Street, they made a bit of a U-turn back down Flinders Street, and they've ended this afternoon here at Treasury Gardens. They're protesting a lot of things. The pandemic bill, the controversial pandemic bill the state government's trying to get through Parliament. They're also protesting mandatory vaccines, vaccines in general, and, you guessed it, the Premier, Dan Andrews. I'm here for freedom, right? We all deserve freedom. The government works for us. Why are they doing what they're doing? And how can they justify it? It just should be a human choice to be able to say that we don't want to be vaccinated with a, something that's got a 99.7% recovery rate. It just should be a choice. As you can imagine, with a group this size, it's a range of people taking part. You can see that with the flags alone, Australian flags, Polish flags, Greek flags and US flags, to just name a few, almost matching the array of signs, many emblazoned with Sack Dan Andrews and my body, my choice, and it must also be said, many attacking the media. We've seen a man punching a doll of Dan Andrews, while others are simply families, and that includes children. Uh, I'm just fighting for the freedoms of my kids. I want to come out, enjoy the day, and enjoy the protests. So there's people that are probably vaccinated, unvaccinated, business owners, non-business owners, fathers, mothers, kids, grandparents. This is people who just want their lives back. And you can bet your bottom dollar there'll be another disagreement on the size of the turnout. People here say it's in the hundreds of thousands. Authorities will estimate much fewer, but the pictures tell the story. Meanwhile, Pauline Hanson has joined protesters on the Gold Coast as anti-vaccine mandate demonstrations were held right across the country. It comes after the One Nation Party leader at, earlier this week attempted to introduce a bill to federal parliament limiting the ability of states to introduce mandates. Her One Nation colleague Malcolm Roberts also attended.